Hi, I'm Don Alfano, Director of Applications for Isolation and Machine Interface Products at Silicon Laboratories. Today I'm here to talk to you about some exciting new gate drivers specifically intended for use in Class D audio systems. But first, let's have a look at how a Class D audio system works. Class D amplifiers convert incoming analog audio signals into digital format where they are amplified, then converted back to analog. The digital amplifier circuit consists of a gate driver and associated switching MOSFETs, all connected to relatively high voltage power supplies. The digitized audio input signal modulates the switching circuit, creating substantial power gain while maintaining high efficiency since the switch on resistances are very low. The output filter removes the carrier, thus restoring the signal back to analog. Optimized switch timing is crucial in Class D amplifiers and it is here where the gate driver plays a very important role. Many Class D amplifiers use non-isolated high voltage gate drivers that often require audio signal level shifting at the input. Level shifting can dramatically increase design complexity like the busy level shift circuit that you see here. High voltage drivers also have output DVDT limitations that can result in latch up if violated. Clearly, a better Class D driver solution would be welcome. The Silicon Labs 824X series of audio drivers address these and other concerns. These audio drivers use proprietary CMOS isolation technology that provide capacitive level shifting for substantially higher latch up immunity. In addition to higher reliability, the same capacitive circuit provides 2.5 kV of isolation from input to output, further reducing noise coupling and increasing transient immunity. This attribute can certainly come in handy in high power systems that use very high voltage supplies. These drivers are available in 0.5 amp and 4 amp peak output current ratings. The 0.5 amp version is perfect for Class D applications at power levels up to 400 watts while the 4 amp version services applications at power levels to 1 kilowatt. The PWM input version connects directly to the external PWM modulator, simplifying the control interface. Lastly, these audio drivers are capable of operating up to 8 megahertz, more than ample headroom for higher frequency applications. Let's see how our audio driver simplifies system design and improves audio performance. First, the output channels of these drivers are isolated from each other and from the input, thereby eliminating the need for input level shifters. But even more importantly, the isolated outputs enable a simple implementation of a two-state switcher as shown in this graphic. This architecture not only saves cost and board area, but also increases system reliability. Dead time is the time period when all switching transistors are off. And during this time, current flows through the low side MOSFET body diode to the output, increasing output distortion. Given this, dead time must be optimized. Too long a dead time will add significant output distortion, but too short a dead time causes shoot through current that wastes power. Most high voltage drivers have very coarse dead time settings that do not allow for precise dead time periods but the SI824X drivers have a linear dead time setting that uses a single external resistor to precisely set dead time for optimum system performance. Silicon Laboratories offers a stereo Class D evaluation board delivering 120 watts RMS per channel. Here is a channel block diagram of the evaluation kit which is available at the URL shown below. As you can see, the 8241 audio driver provides high side and low side output drive with dead time determined by the value of resistor RDT. Note also the single channel 8410 isolators that interface the driver to the high voltage overcurrent protection circuits. Here is the Class D evaluation board which operates from an external plus minus 50 volt supply. The 8241 audio drivers, one per channel, are located here and here. Note also the single channel 8410 isolators that interface the driver to the high voltage overcurrent protection circuits. 
Class D audio amplifiers like this one have very low output distortion and consequently require specialized equipment to measure their performance. In our case, we used an audio precision analyzer. This analyzer measures harmonic distortion plus noise by sweeping across the amplifier's frequency range at various output power levels and displaying their results here on this monitor. Here we see a plot of THD plus N showing a value of 0.02% at 1 kilohertz and at half power. To see more Class D THD plus N performance data, please visit our interactive Class D audio driver evaluation web page shown at the bottom of the screen. Our drivers increase system reliability, simplify circuit design, lower output distortion, increase fidelity, and save cost and board space. For more information about these drivers, please visit us at scilabs.com. Thanks for watching.